This is the tutorial for the auxiliary pieces. There are seven. None of them are complicated. Therefore, this will be a quick overview on how to create these seven auxiliary parts for the radial engine assembly. You want to first start with a new part and name that rod bush upper. Click on the YZ plane and head into Sketcher. Start with a circle at the origin with a radius of 12 millimeters. And then an inner circle, again centered at the origin, with a radius of 11 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and then pad this out. Mirrored extent 21 millimeters. Next, create another part and name it Rod Bush Lower. Go into the YZ plane and head into Sketcher. Again, place the circle at the origin and the radius will be 7.5 millimeters. Now create a smaller circle again at the origin and this radius will be 6 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and pad this out to 12 millimeters mirrored extent. Create another part and name it Piston Ring. Click on the YZ plane and head into Sketcher. Create a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 46.5 millimeters. Create another circle again centered at the origin with a radius of 42.5 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and pad this to 1.5 millimeters mirrored extent. Now go ahead into the ZX plane and enter Sketcher. This is where you'll create the slit. Go ahead and click the profile button and create a slanted rectangle. Now try and get one edge to be, be at least perpendicular, which will give you a parallel side, and then go and click on the remaining two sides to make them as well constrained to be parallel. Now to create the proper angle, click on one of the lines in the center line and make that to be an angle of 135 degrees. Go ahead and click the innermost two points of the rectangle and make them coincident with the ring. As you see, Katia has already made the construction lines for you. You do not need to create these. Make the base there one millimeter. And then to center it, click the horizontal line and the outward point make that distance 1.5 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and pocket this out to up to last. Go ahead and start a new part and name it Piston Pin Plug. 
go ahead and click on the YZ plane and go into Sketcher. Again, create a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 11 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and pad this out to 3 millimeters. Now, on the back side, click that face and go into Sketcher on that face. Again, create a circle at the origin with a radius of 5.5 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and pad this out to 12 millimeters. Now, on the upper ring of the circle, go ahead and click that and the Edge Fillet command. You will want a fillet of 2 millimeters. Go ahead and create a new part called Piston Pin. Go ahead and click on the YZ plane and go into Sketcher. Again, create a circle at the origin with a radius of 11 millimeters. Go ahead and create another circle, again centered at the origin with a radius of 5.5 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and pocket this 40 millimeters mirrored extent. Create a new part and call it Master Rod bearing. Click on the YZ plane and head into Sketcher. Create another circle centered at the origin with a radius of 26 millimeters. And then create an another circle centered at the origin with a radius of 23 millimeters. Exit Sketcher and pad that out 35 millimeters mirrored extent. Start a new part and call it link pin. Click on the YZ plane and go into Sketcher. Create a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 7.5 millimeters. Go ahead and exit Sketcher and pad that out. 7 millimeters and again click on the bottom face. Go into Sketcher. Create a circle centered again at the origin with a radius of 5 millimeters. Exit Sketcher and go and pad that to 43 millimeters.